A critical element in any Bible college or uh, Christian university uh, context is recruitment, right? Yeah. Getting those students. What is motivating students to come your way? We well, see, we used to be a Bible college. We chose to become a university. Right. And there are a whole number of good reasons for that. Yeah. One is that Bible college, which was a great 20th century instrument, uh, is only provides education, at least perceived by, by people, only for very limited opportunities. But if a young person goes through four years of Bible college and then chooses two years later not to stay as youth pastor or pastor or whatever the religious vocational calling was and want to go into something else, a Bible college degree has no currency. Right. So a Christian university is a place where it teaches you how to think too. It brings you into the critical issues of life. So it sharpens the mind, it cultivates the character, and nurtures the heart of faith. That's the equation that we work with. And we believe that that is a very attractive thing for students, for parents, to invest in the lives of young people. Uh, some people say, well, are you a hothouse? I said, no, we are a greenery. We are a, we are a nursery. You see, you don't take seeds and drop them into the forest floor. What you do is that in a nursery, you build them to the place where they have sufficient strength and then you plant them in the forest floor. That's the way you build a great forest. Mm. And to throw a young person out into a, into a secular environment where you've got a professor who for 55 years has perf been perfecting their argumentation of why faith is ridiculous, you know, for an 18 year old student to come up against that person and somehow win an intellectual argument, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like throwing a, a child out onto the 401 and expecting them to run across the road. Mm. So we believe that an outstanding university is a way of, of, of sharpening the mind, solidifying faith, and giving them intellectual and emotional and spiritual tools which they can utilize through the rest of their life and be successful wherever they go. And obviously, uh, people are buying into this vision because you've raised 40 million already for the new campus, another 20 million to go. Uh, now, th this is a part of your future. You will, you will become chancellor. Now, the Honorable Jake Epp is currently your chancellor, right? That's right. Uh, uh, what, 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 is, what, is the, what is the plan? How, is there going to be a transition, or how, how will this happen? Well, it happens very quickly. Jake Epp is our uh, Chancellor Emeritus. Uh, chancellorship is kind of an honorific role, uh, but my role will continue because of the capital campaign that we're on right. to complete that within the next uh, year or two. So that's our, that's our focus, and, uh, and we just are in the development of a school of business. We're starting a doctorate of ministry program. To, in, fact, in fact, it starts today. Um, there's a whole number of new initiatives that are going on. The takeover of the new campus, uh, it, uh, it allows us then in a, in a uh, beautiful environment with outstanding facilities to move from the cul-de-sac yeah. to the Main Street. <laughs> yeah. And that's my view, Jim, yeah. that it's yeah. time for people yeah. of biblical faith yeah. Yeah. to yeah. take responsibility yeah. and move into the center of our culture as a powerful witness of Christ. Boy, there's a metaphor. I mean, that's a powerful metaphor, Brian. Yeah. Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's visible to thousands and thousands of people who drive by every day. Uh, we've got about two and a half minutes left. Uh, you mentioned something earlier I'd like you to just expand on a bit. You, you say this last 14 years has been a real um, learning curve for you in terms of learning to walk by faith. Uh, for many of our viewers, that's a, that's a concept they'd like to hear more about. What does it mean to walk by faith? We use the words belief and faith interchangeably. So people say, what's your faith? What they're really saying is, what do you believe in? Right. And so we, we diminish the understanding of faith by using it as another word. Belief is, is what I agree to be true. So there's a statement of faith. And you and I could debate over whether this statement of faith is the right one or this one is. Uh, whether you're a Catholic or a Protestant. I mean, there's various ways of arguing cognitively what is true and what is not true. Right. Faith is of the will. Faith is a choice we make. Faith is moving from the comfort zone of where I am out into a place where only by the enablement of God will I succeed. Faith is activity. Faith isn't what I believe in. Now, faith is based upon uh, what I believe. So faith is not a blind leap in the dark. Yeah. But faith is moving into a zone where only by God's intervention and help will I succeed. Mm. It's not doing it on the basis of what I am able to do. It's moving into a zone where I, 
where I bring God in. It's remarkable that God allows us to trigger activity that in, that brings Him into the into the equation, yeah. and it's it's transforming for a person yeah. to live that way, and it's transforming for the church to be led that way. You know, I'm thinking uh, of uh, that scripture in Isaiah: "They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength; they shall mount up with wings as eagles; they shall run and not be weary; they shall walk and not faint." Waiting on the Lord, uh, I think for Brian and for me, has come to mean living in such a way that if God doesn't show up, you fail. Uh, right. you, 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 you make room for Him in your life and you, you depend upon Him and rely upon Him. Uh, Brian has done this and is doing this in a remarkable way and all of Canada is benefiting. And uh, we're so grateful for this past 14 years and all that you have done, Brian. You, you have become uh, uh, kind of iconic, uh, really, and I mean that, uh, a paragon of uh, an upright man. And uh, we wish you all the best in whatever the Lord has for you in the future. Thanks for coming our way. Thanks, Jim.